I wish I could wear it. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, today I am going to take you guys to the bins with me. I am super excited. Um, by the time I'm filming this, I already went. Hi, hello, if you're new here, welcome. Um, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and sort of eBay, not really. I've tried and it <laughs> doesn't go over too well. So mostly Poshmark and Mercari. So I do this as kind of like a hobby. Honestly, I love to shop and this helps me with my uh, shopping addiction or tendencies, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, ever since I started doing this, I stopped spending a lot of money on myself and I focus more on buying for other people, which is so much fun. I get to buy all different kinds of stuff in all different kinds of sizes and I make money off of it. If you guys are curious, my main income is my nine to five job, which I won't mention anytime soon probably, maybe one day I'll let you guys know what I do for a living, but for now, just know I work a standard eight to five desk job type situation. If you guys don't know what the Goodwill outlet or the Goodwill bins are, basically you pay by the pound. Um, in my area, it's $1.29 a pound. It's the closest thrift store to me by a couple of minutes. There's so many thrift stores around here, but I love to go there because you get to buy a bunch of stuff for cheapy cheap and higher profits. So you guys will see how it's organized in the next few clips. Basically, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a uh, dumpster diving, but everything is like not trash. Like there's actual gold in there. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into it and I'll do the haul. Okay, this is awesome. There's like nobody here. It's like five o'clock on a Monday. I don't think people got the men mode. They're open this late, so. here and I think this is a cute enough piece so I'll get that. For me to say. 
Okay, so I'm finding some really good stuff, which is like a good and good thing and a bad thing. I don't really have space. But I will not complain about finding good stuff. Oh boy. Okay, so no particular order. I got um, $11 worth of stuff and it all fit in the Sierra bag. Okay, this was unique. Normally not something I pick up, but it's a Turkish towel. And Turkish towels are amazing. If you've never used one, you could use it as a blanket. You can use it as a towel. They're amazing. But this particular one is by Trina Turk, which is a well-known high-end brand. So the comps for this, when I looked them up, were about $40 to $50. So I'm excited to get that listed. Honestly, I would keep that, but I already have a Turkish towel. Okay, this one's a little scandalous. <laughs> but it's actually a Victoria's Secret piece of lingerie. It's a 36D very pretty purple color and i have this up on my poshmark for 32 no $30 and i'm willing to accept offers on stuff like this but yeah i love picking stuff up from the bins that are bras because they're so easy to photograph and they sell really really well so little tip for you so this sweater caught my eye because it said it was 100% cashmere it's by sigrid olsen and it's an extra large i have no idea where they sell this the comps were kind of all over the place. I saw things that were $5 and I saw things that were $70. I assume this would be on the high end because it's 100% cashmere and it still has the tags. So yes, you can find new with tags items at the bins. I find new with tags items all the time. I actually pass on a lot of new with tags items, but just cause it ends up at the bins doesn't mean that it's like unwanted or whatever. It's just didn't get sorted to the store. I got another bra. This one's from pink. I think I have this listed for like 18 to $20. So uh, what's cool about this is like, even just this one item could potentially pay for this whole lot. So that's why I love picking up bras because they're super fast to photograph and sell quick. Okay, this is really weird. This is my second Everlane find at the bins, which I've never found Everlane at like the actual store. So I don't know if they think it's like trash or what. Yeah, kind of funny, but it's this candy cane. <laughs> That's what I want to call it is a candy cane striped t-shirt dress. It's in really good condition I don't think it has any flaws, but like with white stuff I like to take a flashlight to it honestly because it might have like discoloration that I'm not seeing like I think there might actually be a little bit of discoloration on this I'm not sure but Everlane is a really popular sought-after brand. That's expensive retail. I've never personally sold it I do have one other Everlane item in my closet, but it has not sold Okay, this is one of those brands where I swear I will never stop picking it up even though I always say I'm gonna stop picking it up, but it's a free people t-shirt. And it just looks like this. Oh, I did not realize that the cutout went in the front. I thought that was the back. Wow, I can use my brain. <laughs> it even has a tag. Okay, whatever. But it's just really cute tie-dye. I've sold tops pretty similar to this in the past for like $20. Um, and I've had a few that I've been sitting on for a while, so we'll see. Tie-dye is really trendy, so that's why I wanted to pick that one up. Hi! <laughs> okay, so I thought this was a really interesting piece. It's a Ralph Lauren, or it's a Lauren, Ralph Lauren green label sweater. It's hand knit, so that's the green label. They have tons of different labels, um, but it has a skier on the front, and I thought that was really cool, very, um, fun for the winter it's very heavy honestly this is probably what made this cost so much but the comps for this were really interesting like they were 80 90 dollars apparently it's vintage so i need to do a little bit more research on this but it's in great condition the buttons are really cool they have snowflakes on them so i was excited to find this because i just thought it was a cool unique piece and i like selling stuff like that 
Okay, the next one is a bra. I have this up for $20 or maybe $25, I don't really know, um, something like that. Um, but it's a swimsuit top from Victoria's Secret and it's so freaking cute. I wish I could wear it, but it's not my size. Um, so yeah, there's that. Lots of bras, I actually passed on a lot of bras. Okay, so this was really cool. It's an Oscar de la Renta men's sweater. And it just looks like that. And Oscar de la Renta is a high-end brand. Um, I saw comps for this, which I should—I was shocked. I thought it would go for a lot more, but they were $80, $90. Um, it is an extra large, which this does not look like an extra large to me. I don't know. But anyway, that was a really cool find. I don't love to sell men's clothes, to be honest with you. Um, it just doesn't move as quickly as women's clothes, but you know, I thought, why not? It's kind of designer, so might as well try it. This one, um, I actually thought was kind of cute for myself. I might keep this, I don't really know. But it's a caution to the wind sweater, it has bell sleeves, it ties in the bottom, and it's just really, really soft. So, you know, I'll, I'll get this listed, but if it doesn't sell for a whole lot, I won't be sad. Or if it doesn't sell, I won't be sad, because I'll definitely wear that to like lounge around in and still look cute. This was a brand that I learned from another YouTuber. Um, might have been Nicole State, I don't know. But it's Ibex and um, it's a wool sweater. These sell for a lot. I've never found it before, but the comps look pretty good. They were like $50, $60 for this. So I'm excited to get this listed. So the brand again is Ibex and if it'll focus, it just looks like that. So the last thing that I bought, um, which I really wish fit me, I love this so much. It is so cute, is whatever it's this Abercrombie like corduroy jumpsuit dress in really good condition has pockets and I just think this would be so cute for back to school with like you could wear it in the t-shirt with a t-shirt in the warmer months and tights and like a long sleeve and cooler months like if this fit me I would be all over this but she doesn't so the best piece of advice I ever got from someone I think it was on Instagram and they said they sell everything they buy because then they can get what they really want. So I like that. It's actually saved me a ton of money. So anyway, that is everything I got from the Goodwill bins. That is what $11 gets you, gets you all that stuff and a whole lot of profit if you're selling. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.